that is okay. That's what I wanted. All right, let's get it over to the lathe. Oh, before we do that, I almost cut myself again. A chunk of cedar, a uh, cedar telephone pole. I know people give me a hard time. Well, you get some better material to use uh, because that's what I have to use. And I am going to turn most of it away anyways. Because uh, I think I'm going to do this as the top and this the bottom. So we get the orange and all the streaks in the bottom of this. Alright, I had a crack in here, which I don't see anymore. I don't remember where it was. It went through here, I think. I think that was it there. I'm not seeing it real bad, so I'm going to go with it like that. So let me uh, get cut in here so that I can get the mortise in there.
All right, so <laughs> crap, look at that. Couldn't see it. Now I can see it. Well, hopefully I can get rid of some of that. Sand it down again and see if I can get, make it go away. Uh, the biggest problem I was having is the vibrations in this, and I'm not sure if it's this or if it's this, but um, let's have problems with it staying on the worm screw. Could be that it's, you know, <laughs> super duper duper lightweight uh, cedar. Uh, that's just, I already took it off the worm screw. That's not going to help any. Uh, hopefully I can get rid of some of that while it's on that way. All right, well, I tried to fix that. It looks a little better. I got all the swirlies in it. I'm probably going to cut into this again to get a better shape. But um, I was having too many problems with vibrations in that, and I didn't want to rip this off there because I didn't think I had a very good bite with the worm screw. And for whatever reason, I cannot make that wobble go away. So I'm going to cut it away. Yep, my homemade depth gauge. <laughs> but I don't dare go any further than that.
The other thing I'm running into is this is really hard for some reason. I don't know if I left it sit too long, because normally I don't leave a project sit that long before I turn it, and it could just be fully cured. But it is like turning a rock at the moment, so I have switched to carbide trying to get this out of here. <laughs> And now some DIY wax, because it makes it shiny and slickery. <laughs> Carnuba wax, I believe. Oh, I threw it on the floor. <laughs> it. it doesn't look too bad currently, but I haven't got it off here yet. Uh, I do have to flip this over and refinish the bottom because I done messed it all up. But I'm not going to make you watch me do that again because I have to set it all up in a cold jaw so I can hold on to it. So when we come back, we'll be over there at the sticker board. Bye. -bye. Come on, focus. <laughs> all right, so insane in the wood grain. Uh, Jody Roscoe Woodworks in Texas. Now, I haven't found anything on them yet because I just got the sticker, so I haven't looked. So I don't know if there's anything. If there is, I will put it in the corner and in the description below. Uh, I don't have anything with this. No, no notes or nothing. Just uh, a couple stickers and then one for the one for the refrigerator for hot rods. <laughs> All the hot rod stuffs on the refrigerator. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you, Jody. Uh, you should have one by now. I know I sent it out. <laughs> uh, uh huh. All right, so <laughs> here's this bright orange. Somebody said do orange. There you go. There's orange. <laughs> um, I, I I guess it's in honor of uh, this weekend's opening day season for firearm deer season here in Michigan. So we are required. We are required to wear this bright 360 degree visible. Bright orange, <laughs> hunter safety orange is what they call it here. So, but um, so I went with orange. Just I, I had somebody bugging me. I don't remember who. I'm sorry. I get so many comments, <laughs> but I've seen it more than once. So I figured, hey, I'll do it because it's deer season coming up, and that's hunter safety orange. 
and uh, just a piece of cedar telephone pole I had down there. It didn't quite go as well as I thought it would. Uh, I, I thought I would have more of this here in there, um, but I don't. And, and it, it's, I don't know, I, it still looks good. I like it. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, so um, I had to try and clean this up again. <laughs> Well, well uh, you know, for a quickie, and, and it really wasn't quick. I think it took one, two, three, one, two, three, three pours, three pours. So it really wasn't I, over a week, I think, I, I, in pouring it. And I think that's why it was so hard to turn, because uh, the resin set up. Normally, I don't leave it go that long. 24 hours, I'm turning it. It hadn't cured yet. Uh, um, so I, I don't normally... I don't normally run into issue where I can't turn the resin because what I was getting was the bowl gouge was bouncing off of these because it was so hard. So I had to go into the carbide cutters, which was scraper. So all it did is pretty much just I mean, a, a, a lot of tear out that I ended up having to sand most of it out. I, the, the negative break helped a lot, but <laughs> it didn't get rid of all of it. So anyways, uh, good luck to everybody here in the state of Michigan. Sunday for your deer season opener and uh, <laughs> give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down if in fact I found something for Jody's channel if he had a channel or anything else go check that out not yeah did I say give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down I'll put pictures at the end and you all have a nice weekend we'll see you up next week Bye.